That brings us to our 10th bout of the afternoon. It's the men's heavyweight bout between Siari Karnyu and Chulab Bulanidas. Here is Karnyu now, 23 years old, from Belarus. And now here from Algeria is Chuab Buladinats, 24 years old. The referee Jose Chueba from Cuba. And the judges are Wang, Kennedy, Pizarro, Germain, and Vuong. They'll be calling, or rather counting the punches at ringside. Let's take a look at their resumes. Sergey Korniev. He took seventh place in the 2006 Ayuba Junior World Championships in Agadir, Morocco. In 2008, he placed first at the Belarus Senior National Championships, as well as placing second at the European Championships in Liverpool, England. In 2009, he competed at the Ayuba World Championships in Milan. He lost to Urjo Sep of Croatia at 81 kilograms. He took first at the Belarusian National Championships in 2010 and earlier this year, he placed seventh at the European Championships in Ankara, Turkey. Yesterday, he beat Julio Castillo of Ecuador by a landslide of a decision, 25 to 13. That's Sergey Kornyev of Belarus. He'll be boxing against Chuab Buladinat, as we mentioned, from Algeria the man on your screen right there whose gloves are being checked by the referee. He took second at the African Senior Championships in Vakua back in 2009 and second at the Tamar tournament in Teperi, Finland in 2009. Seventh he took at the 2011 World Military Games in Rio de Janeiro and he grabbed first place the gold medal at the 2011 All Africa Games in Maputo, Mozambique. Also of this year. Not to mention, Uladnats is a World Series of Boxing member. That's Ayiba's semi-pro league. Yesterday, he beat Simon Nembhard of England 16 to 10. And these are two big bangers in here, as you can see right out of the gate. Uladnats throwing big shots, big, heavy punches. Karniu from Belarus standing in there with his man. Downstairs, Uladnats goes with a jab to the body. Buladnats and Karnyu squaring off once again here in the center of the ring as Buladnats throws some big leather, lefts and rights. Shows a quick feint, a nice sharp jab. He throws his jab out, and back comes Karnyu with a jab of his own. A left hook by Buladnats, and a big slugging, a lumbering right hand, and another right hand, a jab through the guard, right through the guard of Karnyu. Karnyu comes back with a left hook of his own. He goes downstairs with a left to the body, and back comes Buladnats, a right to the body, and a left upstairs. A one-two combination to the head of Karnyu, and Karnyu keeps coming forward. He digs a left to the body, and back comes Buladnats with a left of his own. And here comes Karnyu with a one-two combination, and he seems to complain of an injury or something. No, nope. apparently Buladnats gets a standing eight count. Didn't see the punch that landed, apparently the ref did. And now, as Buladnats stretches his jaw muscles, loosens his mouth, better to prepare for punches, and also better to accept the mouthpiece that was just placed in his corner. And the referee continues the action. Karnyu, big left to the body. Buladnats goes down on one knee after throwing a punch, and the referee is gonna let the action resume. A left and a right by Buladnats. A jab step in, a right hand, a big left hook by Buladnats, and Karniu keeps coming forward. A baby left hook to the head by Karniu, and they're slugging it out in the center of the ring. Now Buladnats feels he needs to retreat a little bit. Perhaps Karniu is really exerting his will because Buladnats has felt his power now. 
on more than one occasion in this bout, and Carnew is pressing the action. A left and a right by Buladnots, which both miss. Carnew with a left jab, down the right down the straight line, and a big left hook by Buladnots. Carnew was able to duck that. The referee going to issue a caution to Buladnots. A left hook dug to the body, a triple left hook by Carnew. It's nice to see at this weight. 25 seconds to go in round number one, and Carnew is throwing an array of punches, right hooks, right uppercuts, baby hooks with his left hand as well. And a left right by Buladnots, both fall short. He retreats, Carnew advances. Both punches by Buladnots were blocked by the high guard of Carnew, and Carnew comes back with a short uppercut of his own and a left hook at the bell. That's the end of the round. Belarus, nine, Algeria, four. Action resumes here in round number two. Sergey Korniev from Belarus, 23 years old in the red corner. Chuai Buladnot from Algeria, 24 years old in the blue corner. This is the 2011 AIBA World Boxing Championships. This is the 91 kilogram weight class, the heavyweights. It's also the quarterfinals. Both of these boxers will see each other again for sure. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the next day but they'll see each other in London in the summer of 2012. They're both going to the Olympics on behalf of their countries. They both got through the round of 16 yesterday that puts them square in the ring today. Now they're slugging it out for supremacy in the weight class for this tournament. Which one is gonna go on to the semifinals on Friday and which one's gonna go home after this bout? We will see very shortly because we're almost at the halfway point of this bout. It's a close enough contest so far that either man can take this. The referee is going to issue a caution to Baladinots. He's received a standing eight count already in the first round. Carnew. Great, great defense by Carnew. His hands are up high. His elbows are in tight. He's able to block much of what Baladinots is throwing at him, except for that right there. A belly shot by Baladinots lands square in the midsection of Carnew. A right hand by Buladnitz and Carnew keeps pressing the action. It seems as if Carnew is going to keep pushing the action throughout the entirety of this bout. He seems to be a little more confident but Buladinats is not backing down. He's just letting Carnew bring the action for the most part as an overall theme, but he is definitely willing to exchange Buladinats is and has. Now there's a little lull in the action. You see the corner of the Algerian boxer. His team not too happy with the point deduction, or rather, the two-point addition to Carnegie's score as a result of the warning given to Baladinats. It's gonna have to, Baladinats is gonna have to work even harder now than he otherwise would have to make up those two points. He just gave them away. 
A left hand by Carnew, and now he's starting to get the punches off that he is designed to do. He's throwing uppercuts and hooks from sneaky angles, and I don't know that Buladinac is prepared to handle all of that. And down goes Carnew with an impressive left hook by Buladinac in the midst of weathering the storm that Carnew was bringing. And out of nowhere, that's what happens when you throw punches is you expose yourself to a counterpunch. And now Buladinac is bringing it. He's bringing the rain, the thunder, and the lightning. Talk about storms. It's now 22 to 8, though. The Belarusian boxer. It looks like the ship is leaving the port for smoother, smoother sailing down the road of this tournament. But Sergei Korniev of Belarus is just exerting his will on Buladinat. You could see here in action from the last round. And wait, it seems as though the, Bel the Algerian team has stopped the contest. It seems like they've retired in between rounds as they remove the headgear of the Algerian boxer. And just as a matter of formality, the referee called the boxers to scratch at the beginning of the third round just so that it could become official that the Algerian was not going to call or answer the call of the bell in round three. And as a result, he has retired in between rounds. We don't yet know why. It could be that his corner just felt he would not be able to come back, and perhaps they were correct. He doesn't seem happy, Buladnat. However, the winner is Sergei Korniev. Sergey Korniev of Belarus, 23 years old, will advance to the next round, the semifinal round on Friday. And with that, we're down to two bouts. Stay tuned. Coming back is Azerbaijan and Cuba. That should be a barn burner coming up in